So when I say scalable, I really mean scalable. Uh, so the, we can do gigawatt class uh, installations with the power pack. Uh, it's the, the whole system is designed, literally designed for infinite scalability. So we could power a small city like Boulder with a gigawatt hour class uh, pack. Uh, and we can, we can keep going here. <laughs> so let's, let's, what I want to do is explore what, what is needed, what, what's really needed to transition the world to sustainable energy. Is this actually possible? Is it something that is within the ability of humanity to actually do? Or is it some insurmountable, super difficult, impossible thing? Um, it's not. So with 160 million power packs, you can transition the United States. OK? With 900 million, you can transition the world. You can basically make all electricity generation in the world uh, renewable, so, or, and primarily solar. Which will be, so, and then <laughs> going a little further, if, if, if you wanted to transition all transport and all electricity generation and all, all heating to renewable, you need approximately 2 billion power packs. Now, that may seem like an insane uh, number, and, I, and I'm, I'm very tempted to do the, you know, the, the billion thing, but <laughs> restrain my hand. <laughs> but um, in, in, in order to, to, it's like 2 billion uh, power packs. Is, is, that, is that a crazy number? Is that an impossible number? It, it, it is not, in fact. The number of cars and trucks that we have on the road is approximately 2 billion. And every, every 20 years, approximately, that gets refreshed. There's 100 million new cars and trucks made every year. So the point I want to make is that this is actually within the power of humanity to do. It, we have done things like this before. And so it's, it's not impossible. It is, it is really something that, that we, we can do. Um, and uh, in, in, in fact, it, you know, it's, it's, it's something that um, obviously we're starting to do with, with Gigafactory 1. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. So the, what, what, the way we're approaching the Gigafactory is really like it's a product. So we're not really thinking of it in the traditional way that people think of as, as a factory, like a building with a bunch of sort of off-the-shelf equipment in it. What we're really designing in the Gigafactory is a giant machine. It's actually, it's really, think of like, it's like a product of, of Tesla. We're, we're, we're making this really big product that doesn't happen to move, but it's really big. And, and, and that's what we're doing, is, is Gigafactory version one. Uh, and we're, we're building that in, in Nevada right now. Uh, and there will need to be many gigafactories in the future. And with, um, you know, I, I, this, I, don't, I do want to emphasize that this is not something that we think Tesla's going to do alone. We think this, there's going to need to be many other companies building sort of gigafactory class operations of their own. And we, we hope they do. Um, and the, the Tesla policy of open sourcing patents will continue for the gigafactory and for the power pack and for all these other things. <laughs> So we want to show people, that most importantly, that, that this, this is possible. Um, that if, if you look at the, that, that, that's the future we, we could have, where the, the, the curve slowly rolls over and goes to zero, no incremental CO2. That, that's, that's the future.